Good day, Dino friends, and welcome back to Lego Fortnite. This is not actually episode number three of my uh, heroic, no, hardcore, Lego hardcore or expert mode Lego Fortnite series because I've been having serious technical difficulties with the last eight episodes. They're already recorded. Eight full episodes are already recorded and I cannot get them to you because of technical difficulties. But don't worry, I think I have the solution. So I think starting next week, there will be at least one episode every week again. Hopefully, hopefully. Anyway, they just did an update this week. So I just want to just make this video real quick to check it out. They added teleporting and a few more things. So let's check them out. They, first of all, I think every single skin in my, my locker is now updated. So since December, I've been checking every time uh, to see if they updated the skins. And the last few that didn't have a, a real Lego version was like this one, for instance. Only it looked like this. Uh, you might not know what the original looks like, but it looks way more like this. Like it has an eye patch and stuff and armor, body armor that's black. Stuff like this. So they updated that one. They updated... Oh, this one too. This is kind of funny. Kind of looks like the Joker if the Joker was a girl or something. But it's actually supposed to be the candy girl. <laughs> and I noticed when I saw this one with the big beard. Because they had this one. Dude, this guy has no hair. I knew this one wasn't finished. When I saw this one, it was like, well, that one's not finished. Because this is what he really looks like. I love the bananas. <laughs> I love the banana logo on his pants does he really have bananas on his pants i don't remember and i cannot be bothered right now to switch back to normal fortnite to see <laughs> anyway i think everything is updated there's like one skin left this one the, the werewolf one i'm not sure if this is the final version this one looks like the last one that i have that looks maybe a little bit unfinished i don't know anyway I'm gonna be playing this one. This is just, this is really turning into my favorite skin. It's technically a dino skin. It's this one, the skeleton version, but I like the old version as well, where it doesn't look really that dino-y, but it looks really cool still. Okay, anyway, that's not important because they updated a few things. I just wanna check them. They basically made it so you should be able to change your world settings. So let's see. I have a bunch of worlds, obviously. <clears throat> How do you change them then? Okay, there's a rename. <gasps> there's a rename at least. So if I select my hardcore world, I can rename it hardcore for videos or something. Confirm. Oh, that works. Hardcore for videos. Okay, okay, okay. So obviously my world one, I would think I'm not going to rename that one. I like that it's called world one, uh, but they said that you can also change like the settings. How do I, let's see, I have a play button here I, or can you only change it when you get in? Okay. Maybe you cannot change an, a hardcore world, but maybe you can change the, at least the sandbox ones or the cozy or survival ones. Can I, where, where do you change it? Hang on. All right. All right. All right. I've checked TikTok, YouTube, Google. No one's telling me how to change these settings. I think you have to change them from inside of the world. I'm not sure. I'm scared to go into any world because I, I also looked on Reddit. Some people were having bugs since the update, but what else is new? People always have bugs <laughs> after an update. So I hope we won't have them. Oh, there's one more thing. They also released a new set. Obviously I instantly got it because I'm addicted to Lego Fortnite. So it's like supposed to be a pirate castle. Look how many wolf claws are on top of it. That's crazy. So it's like a, this castle building. Well, obviously, I might never actually make this exact building, but just use the walls for my own builds, of course. And then there's a bunch of decors. Uh, which one? No, I don't know. Do I just type pirate here? No. What's the name? What's the name again? Tell me what the name is, please. Captain something? Captain. Nope. Okay, well, I found one of them at least. This one's pretty cool. It has like thrones. This one has a crab on it. Um, okay, I guess they all have random names. I'll find them. This one? No, this is the one that I just had. 
Wait, can I sort them my newest, please? Oh my god, you can't. There we go. Okay, this one. This one's pretty cool. Definitely looks like the type of organ piano type of thing you would find inside of the Flying Dutchman. Like, I think during the, what, the movies of... Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, they're playing this on the on the Flying Dutchman ship. They're playing an organ to play the dramatic songs. So this is pretty cool to put this inside of a ship. Ah, there we go. That's the last one. Yes. Okay, so there's three, like, pillars with hats on them. Like, uh, pirate hats. There's a bandana, a tricord, and, like, a captain's hat. This floor part is separate, I think. I think that's the rug diamond. Here it says rug diamond. And nothing else looks like it. So I guess that's what, it's, what it is, even though it's brown. There's also a... Uh, let's see, skeleton torch and a skull torch. I don't know which one is which because they both have a skull on them. One has a Lego skull and one has a more like realistic spooky skull on it. So yeah, that's what I wasted my money on. All right, let's see if we have any bugs when we get into the game. Please, please no, please, please. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm standing on this bench, right? Green thunder visited my world. Green thunder visited my world. Oh. Oh, that's his stuff? Hang on, let me check. Oh, but he had no stuff. So is that his stuff? But there's nothing in it? Because he had no stuff? I don't know, he just visited my world for a quest. Someone had to visit my world. So I put all the green things that I had here. Well, it's not all of them. <laughs> all right. Um, first thing I see is that my lightsaber's upside down in my inventory. What the heck? Like, why is my lightsaber on the bar? It's upside down now. It was. I could have sworn it was the other way around. What? I don't, why? They also made the inventory bigger. Look at this. These eight slots. Well, any eight slots. It doesn't matter. But they added eight slots to the inventory, apparently. Thank God, Zilla. Thank God, Zilla, for that. Because, I don't know. I always feel like the inventory is so small. I'm always running out of space. Like, I cannot even go to a cave, usually. Because by the time I reach the cave, my inventory is already full from stuff I found along the way. But... We won't have to travel very far to a cave anymore because that's the biggest part of this update is that they added fast travel. They added, uh, apparently you can find, oh, what is this? Oh, those are the caves. Oh, they added stuff to the map so you can see more easily where the caves are. <laughs> I marked this one myself with a green thing, but I guess I don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, so they added, uh, apparently you can find a bus stations around the map. And if you find one, it will tell teleport to any other bus station. Let's see, bus stations. I'm not seeing any, maybe I have to find them first. So apparently they will have like this logo. Um, okay, I guess I'll leave the Star Wars world and go to the normal world. I'll see you guys when if I find one. Hey, the, the normal world. Okay, I'm not seeing any bus stations. <laughs> I think you have to find them first. Oh no, should I do this in creative instead? I don't have that much time, actually. All right, oh, um, at least I found how to change the settings. It's here. So because this is a hardcore world, I don't think you can change any of the settings. Like, why would you turn enemy difficulty to easy? Then it's not a hardcore world, is it? Then you can just cheat by keeping everything on easy until you get all the armor and weapons that you want and then turning it into hardcore just for the qu quests and missions or something. Um, I'll look for a little bit to see how easy or hard it is to find a bus station. I'll look for like half an hour max. I'm not going to do that thing again that I did in one of my videos. I ah, dang, I keep forgetting that video isn't out yet. But there's like one video where I looked for a brute genuinely for like two or three hours straight. And I was just, I just went insane. <laughs> Look forward to that. Oh, actually, I'll take this. Hello. That's easy now because I have a lightsaber now. Wait, did you guys know that I had a lightsaber? That video is out, I think. Okay, this is not, I'm trying very hard not to spoil. <laughs> Okay, they were a bit stronger than I thought. <laughs> they were a little bit stronger than I thought. <laughs> okay, so I fought those previous guys. I would two hit them. Then I saw these guys. So we're like, they can't be much harder. But I didn't notice they were standing in the Frostlands part. <laughs> they were standing in the dangerous parts where monsters are ten times stronger. 
and I didn't notice. Okay, well that was dumb. <laughs> I think I'll just go to a uh, creative mode world and just fly around. I think that will make it a little bit easier. Oh, is that one already? I literally just got into this world. I was totally expecting to have to look around for at least an hour. <laughs> I just got into this world and there's one right there. Ooh, okay, so it's a bus station. Oh, this is bus station A. Oh, oh, hello. Yo, Triceroops. Hello? Oh, and she's gone. I don't know. She didn't feel like talking to me, I guess. Did anyone see what she said? Someone paused the video. What did she say? Something, something battle bus question mark? And then she was gone. So I have no idea. That's all I read. <laughs> I think she was supposed to give me a tutorial or something. Okay, let's try to figure it out ourselves. Fast travel. Well, I don't know any older. So I guess I'll first have to... Oh, 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 hang on. I can do... I can travel all the way to my rebel outpost. Keep in mind, this isn't the same where we just were. That one was in hardcore mode. I'm now in a different world. Okay, so when I click on this, confirm. Do you do you pay something to travel? I have no idea. I have no idea. Yo. And it takes two minutes? Oh, yo, what? Oh, no, it doesn't take two minutes. Look at that. You have arrived already? That was fast. Watch your step. Wait, you're not going to actually throw me out of this bus, are you? Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> ah! Okay, well, make sure you bring your glide. Wait, it just brought me back to where I already was, I think. Wait, isn't this the same place? Oh, no, it isn't. This is near. This is closed. Oh, this is close to my rebel village. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is close to my rebel village in a Star Wars place, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, 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 it is. I haven't fully discovered it. Hello? Okay, guys, chill. Don't make me spawn a brute or new. Okay, so I just looked up... Uh, no, oh, there's a brute. I just looked up a video tutorial. And it was in Spanish for some reason. And the person called the brutes a brutosaurio. Brutosaurio. That's what I want to call them from now. Brutosaurio. There we have a Brutosaurio right there. Okay, anyway. I guess you just have to find one. Then it will send you to other ones. But you can also theoretically break them and get parts. And then you can build your own. I'll try that real quick. This video is already getting long. <laughs> one thing I've learned from making all these videos without editing. Just recording and putting them on YouTube is... They so easily get so long. Like, I feel like I've been recording for three minutes. And it's 13 minutes? Are you insane? Guys, stop fighting. Are they fighting the Brute? Oh my god. I mean the Brutosaurio. They're Why are they fighting the Brutosaurio? Maybe they're not called Brutosaurio in Spanish. Just on that one channel. They're probably just called that on that one channel. That's probably just how that one YouTuber calls them. Okay. Am I getting anything yet? I don't think I'm getting anything yet. It's just floating now. I'm assuming we're talking mostly about this glowing part here, right? Everything else... Hello? Hello? I don't know if anything else matters. Because we need to get like special parts, like rift parts, I guess. To make our own bus station. Wait, how do you make one anyway? Oh, here we go. Bus station. Yeah, I need rift shards. Obviously, I have infinite ones because I'm playing in creative mode. Ah, okay. So it stays floating. Whoa! Okay, I got three rift shards. Oh, I got... Let's see. Four of that, two of that. Yeah, so I think if you break one, you can just sort of place it somewhere. You get the exact amount you need to make your own. So you can just place it somewhere else. And every other part that was like the gray stone here is just decoration. You can place it anywhere you want as long as you have this. Oh, okay. 
That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna do anything with it in this video. This video is already. I'm supposed to. I'm just supposed to record this and then just put it on YouTube pretty much right away because, as I said, I wanted to upload a normal hardcore version Lego, Lego Fortnite video, but technical difficulties. Okay. Um. What the? Okay, I'm back in my hardcore world again to finish up the video. I. There's another empty. Did I get something? I didn't get anything. Is this just gonna be every time I log in now, there's just gonna be an empty backpack? That's the second one already. Last time there was one here. Okay, so here's my castle for my hardcore series. It's very unfinished, but I got this entrance kind of finished. Uh, I think I would put like a, if I would build my own bus stop, I would put it like maybe somewhere around here. Or maybe on top, because it's it's a flying bus. So maybe I'll put it on top. I'm not really sure. Anyway, that's just a quick checking out everything that's new. Um, it's not supposed to be a very serious video. If you really want to know everything that's new as soon as possible when it comes out, uh, you should subscribe to some of these people on YouTube that do that as soon as everything comes out. There's a handful of them on YouTube. Uh, this was just... Really, this video was just for me to just say... Uh, my Lego hardcore videos are not finished yet because of technical difficulties. They're coming out hopefully next week. I think I've got the solution. Um, so in the meantime, here's a quick filler filler video <laughs> where I just check out this update. I think it's going to be really cool. Leave a comment if you're still playing Lego Fortnite. Like, what are you going to do with these um, these buses. Oh, let me go up here and see if I can see one. I bet I can find one real close. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot one thing. You can also rename your village, apparently. Not just your world. So this one's called Rebel Outpost. Can you really rename this? Probably not this one, right? No, okay. I don't think this one. No, okay. But other villages that you made yourself... You can apparently also rename to anything. I mean, you could already rename them. But they were default names, you know, like uh, Cozy Pines or something, or I don't know, Cozy Acres. I don't, I don't know what the names were. I think they were usually like standard Fortnite names where it actually starts with the same letter. Uh, they apparently didn't do it with animals from what I've read, but animals right now you can only rename uh, uh, names from the game and you cannot make up your own name. But the names that are in the game are pretty sick. Like, I think one of the sheep was called, like, Woolbert or something. Stuff like that. Just silly names. I love them. I don't know if I'm going to make up my own names anymore for animals in this game. Okay, let's see. Oh, I cannot... It's also nighttime. Actually, that could help. Because doesn't it glow? It glowed, right? It was glowing. Wait, maybe it's in the same spot. Maybe it's in the same spot in every world. Okay, so in the last world, it was, like... Where was it? Somewhere around here. I'm not sure. I didn't check. Really. I think it was around here somewhere. Do you guys see anything that's glowing? I don't know. Okay. I'm just gonna jump. We'll find out. I guess I'll just fly to my other village. So we can see if we can rename that one. Okay, do you see a bus station? Let me know. Let me know if you see one. Even though this is a video and not a live stream, so it doesn't matter. Oh, there, 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 I see one! <gasps> Ooh, that one's not that far away. Ooh, I'm coming for that. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to put a station on my castle. Yes, okay, so here's a village. Edit details, so you could only... Before you could only like give it a color and an icon. I do the home because it is a village green because it's in the grasslands and a name You used to only have these Some of them are pretty good these default names, but now apparently you can just go uh, Silly place You can just call it whatever you want Let's see Yep, <laughs> you can call it whatever you want. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah, this village isn't very finished. Did I say it was finished? Did I say I was finished with it? <laughs> Best village ever. It has a few beds and this one. We're all, we all live in here. Don't worry. I've got all my storage in here. Don't worry about it. Okay, Um, this video went on way too long. Again, I really need to learn 
to not go on for too long. I'm sorry, guys. But if you're still watching until the very end, thank you so much. You're a true fan. Uh, thank you, Green and Carl, for sponsoring this video. If you also want to support, the Patreon link's in the description. Thank you so much for considering. If you don't have any money to give, that's okay. You can still like and subscribe and do all of those other things. Follow the Twitch. Uh, Join the Roblox group, I guess, if you like Roblox. I think the Robloxers are probably not watching the LEGO Fortnite videos. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Bring it to you guys quick. Gotta make a thumbnail. Probably just a screenshot of the bus and then, like, my face going... <gasps> something like that. Um, all right, next, starting next week. Keep in mind, if you see my LEGO Fortnite video next week, it will be a very old one because... As I said, those eight episodes, I recorded those ages ago, and I've been having technical difficulties. Especially the last one isn't going to come out until two two months from now. Oh my god, that's going to be crazy. People are going to comment on that video like, Oh my god, you're so late with everything. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry for... I'm just, I just keep yapping. Why do I keep yapping? Stop yapping. Alright, thank you for watching. Don't forget stomp. Like an dinosaur. And I don't know if I showed this one, but I also got this emote. Check it out. They finally made a Lego version of this dino emote. Sadly, the villagers, they don't walk. They just stay in the spot. But it's a walking emote, so you can move with it. All right, guys, don't forget stomp. Like a dinosaur.